Well, that was political. So Vice is directed by Adam McKay and stars Christian Bale as Dick Cheney, who was a man who went on to become the most powerful vice president in the history of the United States. And he was a big player and a big influencer to everybody surrounding the George W. Bush presidency. And he actually came up with some pretty big ideas that came to fruition during his term. First off, I have to mention award-winning Christian Bale as Dick Cheney. This is an incredible and terrifying performance. This was something I did not expect. I mean, Christian Bale has been winning a lot of awards during this current award season for this role, and I completely understand why he just disappears into this movie, not just because of the cosmetics and because of the makeup involved to make him look like Dick Cheney, but also down to his performance, his voice, his tone, the way he is about himself is incredibly surreal and incredibly scary. This is a theme you'll see running throughout this entire review about this movie is the idea of fear and it is something that is so well seeded throughout this film and begins from the roots with Christian Bale's performance and there is a particular moment at the very end of the movie which I won't spoil but I was genuinely frightened by Christian Bale's performance. It was something else. This may be one of his best roles yet. It was just insane. I've never seen any actor do anything like this, and I completely understand why Christian Bale thanked Satan in his Golden Globes acceptance speech, because this was just a completely disappearing role that Christian Bale just gets lost in, and you will get completely convinced by it. This film is just very darkly comedic, although I say fear is a massive tone throughout this film and is a massive theme that the movie likes to deal with, it's also very, very funny, very darkly funny, and that comes down to the writing. This movie is extremely well written, it's sharp, it's snappy. If you've ever seen Adam McKay's previous film, The, the Big Short, you know, you kind of know what you're getting into in terms of the writing style of this film. It's very much a snappy, dark comedy. It's, you know, the, the comedy in the movie is very dark and it is very political. I feel like at a point there is, although I feel like the movie in terms of its political dialogue is very surface level, you still have to have some kind of knowledge of what's going on, like in terms of politics in order to understand everything that's going on in the movie. But for the most part, I feel like you'll do okay. Like I'm not the most engaged in politics, especially American politics, because I'm not American. But, you know, I was able to follow the story very, very easily in terms of where he's going. I feel like, the, you know, the movie does that very, very well. And the way that the movie is written for the comedy in terms of the politics is again something that's very well handled especially from Adam McKay the writer and director of the film. Also what adds to the fear factor of this film is how politically relevant this movie is to today's political culture. When you look at the United States presidency as is of course with the certain somebody currently in the White House you can see that this movie is really reflective of that. You can see that this one person, Dick Cheney, was able to get so close to presidency and was able to get so close to these higher up positions to the point where he was actually able to make these executive decisions and nobody was asking any questions. And that's kind of similar to what is happening right now. And that's what it just further adds to the fear of what's going on in this movie. Not only because this has actually happened, this is based on fact, but also the fact that it could happen again, given the fact what's going on in America right now. And it's an incredibly relevant movie. And I know a lot of people will sit there now and think, well, I don't want politics in my movies. I don't want it to be like that. I go to the movies to escape these issues. But I feel like, if, you know, if you're willing to give this a shot, you'll just be able to get brought into this world. And it's something that is incredibly scary, but just a very well written and very well handled film because of those elements. Also, I have to applaud the editing in this movie. It's just so well edited. There's a particular editing choice as well, particularly towards the halfway point, or I think it's around the half an hour point of the movie. There is something where, I'm not going to spoil it, but all I'll say is the movie ends about half an hour in, and that's all I'm going to say. And it was incredibly funny. And again, this comes into the comedic element of the film. The movie is very well edited from a comedic standpoint. The editing really adds to a lot of the jokes. There are moments where you just get like a hard cut to something else, and it's very well done. Um, something that is definitely a comedic choice that works very well in today's society in terms of like meme culture and things like that. It works very well for that. And I feel like this film did a really, it was very self-aware in that sense. Not self-aware to the point where it was taking the joke in, on terms of itself, but it was able to realize what it was doing and realize that in today's society, these jokes will work very well and land very well. And like I said, this movie was genuinely frightening. This is one of the most scary, bone-chilling films I've seen in a long time, especially when you get to the third act. The third act is incredibly tense, incredibly... I was on the edge of my seat, genuinely. 
for those scenes. It was just those things when you look at how real this movie is, the fact that everything in this movie actually happened, and the fact that one person, through selflessness and greed, could get to a point of power where they were able to make executive decisions in order to create some of the biggest wars we've seen in the world. It's just, it's one of those things where you're just like, it's crazy that this actually happened. Like, you get that a lot with these true story movies where you think, you know, it's crazy that this happened, but the fact that this happens and still could happen, like, there's a, po there's a point in the movie where you realise that all the things that were being exploited in this film are still things that are around today and are still exploited today and things that could still be used and again it just adds to the worry factor like this movie is very worrying uh, in terms of how you can relate it to today's society and that's what makes it so scary is the fact that it's so relatable and it's just one of those things where you watch this movie and you just sit back and you think wow and like i say christian bale's performance just adds to the terror factor it's just such a dead on scary performance like i say the last scene in the movie the last couple of minutes you'll be terrified of christian bale walking out of this movie I do have a couple of negatives for the movie. For one, it's not going to be for everybody. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of people don't like politics in their movies or in their TV shows, in their medias. They don't like it because they go to these things to escape what's going on in their everyday political culture. So this movie is not going to be for everybody. It's not going to be one of those films that people are going to want to go and see and be reminded of. It's something they want to escape from. So I can understand that this movie is not exactly going to be for everybody. Also, I think the movie could have had a little bit more focus in its screenplay. There were a couple, it does kind of jump around a lot and it does kind of just jump from, oh, he was here and now he went to this place and then he got this position and blah, blah, blah. It does do that quite a bit. So if you're good at following stories, you should be okay. But I still feel like just for the most part, it could have been tightened up a little bit just to make it a little bit easier to follow for everybody. Overall, though, I absolutely loved Vice. I thought this was a great film. Like I said, this was, uh, if you saw my top 10 most anticipated movies of the year, this was my number 10. I was very, very excited about this movie. And while I will say the trailer does not market this movie the way that you think it should, like the movie is not the way the trailer proceeds it to be necessarily, you will be extremely satisfied with this movie, depending on what you're looking for. Like I say, it's not for everybody. This movie is not for everyone, but I feel like... It, you know, just watching the movie is an incredible experience. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again, but it's one of those movies that's an experience that you can just sit there and watch and think to yourself, wow, you know, this is crazy that this actually happened and this could still happen. And Christian Bale's performance, I don't know if I exactly say it was the best of his career, but it's definitely a contender. It, it's up there. It's one of those performances where you are genuinely frightened by it and genuinely unsettled by it. And that is one of the biggest, you know, one of the biggest things I can say about this movie is that it really scared me. So have you guys seen Vice? If you have, make sure you tell me all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let's have a conversation about this movie in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, if you want to see more movie reviews from me, be sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.